Hello, Loveland and surrounding area. I'm in uh, Landon. This is Landon. Yes. And uh, we're just across the uh, parking lot from the 20 Mile House in uh, Melody's Coffee Cafe. And it's a, kind of a brisk Saturday morning or Saturday afternoon by now, I guess. And I'm here with a group of local residents in the Landon area talking about their efforts to save the 20 Mile House from demolition. And uh, can I can I ask you first to introduce yourselves and uh, so we get some names going on starting off here. I'm Steve Link and I've been uh, in Landon for 17 years now. And I'm Kim Grant and I've been in Landon about 17 years too. I'm Dick Higgins and I've been in Foster since uh, the late 60s. I'm Diana Halligan and I've been in the area for 23 years. And, and Diana, you said you earlier you were from England, so yes, I've been welcome. Stateside for 26 <laughs> years. Thank you. Well, well, who wants to start off and and tell people uh, what's going on right now and why you guys are here this morning? But to go back some and say what's going on. I think last September we all kind of saw in the newspaper that basically said that the 20 was to be purchased by Speedway and demolished, and. I think it took us all by surprise because so many people never dreamed that could happen. I mean, it was a historic building. I don't think the majority of people in the community knew that it, it wasn't designated as such. It's been there for 200 years. So I think that took everybody by surprise. And so Dick and I decided to organize a meeting and our township trustees were kind enough to let us use the township offices for this meeting September 8th. The, the history is that this was a stagecoach yes. stop. That's why it's called 20 Mile. Mm -hmm. 20 Mile from Cincinnati. downtown Cincinnati. Mm -hmm. And I th Yes. And so it, it has such a long, rich history. And in our community, it, basically, everybody that lives around here, if they ask where you do live, you, you, you say, the 20 I live near the 20 Mile house. It's like our community. So we organized this meeting, and um, our objective was we're going to try and save the 20 mile house and we became friends of the 20 mile house and we were really hoping to work with our trustees and um, hoping that they would get involved in this process with us at the first meeting that we did have that with them we did present a petition we we got 500 signatures in one weekend after we found out and about that has to be door to door no, we well, door to door, and actually, a lot of business owners let us put the petition. Okay. I, La Rosa's was kind enough. I dropped one off there, um, and we took one to the fair, I think, and we got 500 signatures. 530. In one weekend. Yeah. And at that point, we presented them to the county commissioners because Mr. Black. And we certainly sympathize with his situation, you know. Did we say who Mr. Black was? He owns, you okay. know, the 20 Mile House and his situation. And there was a meeting with the county commissioners, and we did go to that meeting, and most of us spoke there and presented this petition. And it was... Right now, um, they want to... There's been an applicant to buy the property and wants to demolish 20 Mile House and put in a gas station. And that's what the petition and everybody, you know. And, be and before the county commission, you went there because it's a county planning department, county Our zoning? Our county engineer had denied Mr. Black and the Speedway access. We're, we're in Deerfield Township. Yes. But, but this it, is a county road. And so the county denied the, is it called the management access? Is, is access? access excuse me, access management um, coming in or going out because these at the access driveways were grandfathered into the present uh, county regulations. We don't have a county engineer in Deerfield Township and so that access permit has to be applied through uh, the county engineer. And because of the uh, issues of this driveway being too close to the main intersection of the 22 and 3, and uh, that's why they applied for a variance, and that was denied. Um, 
by the county commissioners. They appealed that, and the county commissioners denied the, the variance. To not get too confused about the zoning, the property is still in jeopardy. The building is still yes. in jeopardy, oh, yes. and, that's, Very much and so. that's why you're meeting. Yes. And, oh, yes. Yeah. and that's why we decided the best way to save the building to our um, trustees, and we did this last week their trustee meeting, this time with well over 2,000 signatures on an internet petition with, I think, over 800 comments of people expressing their um, concern for this building. The, the township really doesn't have a, an identity, uh -huh. doesn't have a downtown, mm -hmm. you know, it doesn't have a center. Uh, Other so. than the 20 Mile House. I mean, the 20 Mile House really is our identity. And I think everybody is just shocked. Well, you know, there, there are basically two scenarios with regard to Speedway. And number one is that they get all the approvals they need and they, they move in. Uh, number two is that they don't get the approval and they go away. Uh, but in either case, uh, the threat to the 20 mile house is still there because it's owned by a private party and it could be demolished at any time with or without a buyer. So we need to put plans in place that will allow the 20 mile house to exist maybe with speedway or if speedway's not there at least to exist in some other form and um, so we're meeting today really to look at possibilities and what kinds of strategies we need to put in place and, and agree on and then what kinds of tactics and actions will come out of out of those i i agree with kim we want jeff black as an owner not to be losing money every month because he's got a vacant building but we need to find a, a solution that doesn't include demolition. In our last offer to the trustees in an email, or I kind of suggested to them that, well, why don't you go ahead and buy it and we can raise the money to help pay the township back. I mean, we are willing to stay together as a committee and a group and begin fundraising for the 20 mile house. Um, just step up and at least make this offer, but we certainly would, you know, help them raise that money this is not something that we're going to walk away from so what are you guys going to probably part of what you're meeting today for but what do you want the public to do right now what do you want them to know right now as a way to help if they are inclined to help well i, I guess anybody who's got some experience in setting up a nonprofit in um, preservation and historical and you know, could maybe just um, help guide us in some of these things because, you know, if we knew how to do it, we would have had it done by now. And so, you know, we need people, more people with, with passion and, you know, what can we do? And, and also understanding that people like Dick have been in the house and seen that it is structurally sound and the... Um, the main things that were there from the beginning, like the old it's fireplaces. Very, very sound. It's it very is sound. sound. Yes. A lot of people don't understand that. They're saying that because of all the changes that have happened over the years, they're saying it's not worth saving or it shouldn't, you know, it can't be on the historical register. You know, along those same lines, I think it is important for the public to keep making their wishes known. Because while we may have a petition with over 2,000 signatures, there may be 25,000 adults in Deerfield Township, and we don't have the ability to poll them and find out what they think. You know, I, I've heard that it, there's nothing left of the place either, but uh, it's so tended to believe that. So I'm glad to hear what no, you're it's, saying. It's, but it, it's also just the outside structure is of cultural importance yeah, um, because of its history. And with that, Without that, even that outside structure here, that culture is gone. So, yeah. so good luck, good luck to everybody, and uh, uh, thanks for sitting down with me today and, and talking about this. You're welcome. I was wondering, you know, people can contact us through the social media. We do have uh, friends of Twenty Mile House on Facebook, and um, people are, you know, friending us on there or asking to be part of the group, and it helps everybody you know finding information and pulling some of this information and getting that information out there as well
And I'm, I'll make sure we have links along with the story about that so people can, can do that. And One comment. Uh, structurally, the building, after going through it, uh, it's amazing. A, a building going back to 1822, structurally, it's in better shape than some of the newer homes around here. No doubt. I, I've I've been to the yes, and I would know, and I've I've been, uh, I've been all the way down to to the basement and and uh, the foundation. If you look walk around the building, there's not a crack in the building. It's built in 1822. So even 1802 was actually built parts of it. Parts of it were in 1802. Yeah, but we've. We've got to save it from the bulldozer. We have a moral responsibility to save that building. You know, I, I grew up down the road in Morrow, and, and certainly if I was telling someone today something about my youth, the 20 Mile House would, would come up as, well, do you know where the 20 Mile House mm -hmm. is? That'll tell you where that was, where that happened, where we did that. So yeah. it is an important place. Good luck. Thank you so well, thank much. You. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Miller. Thank you.